From VOA, Learning English, this is the Economics Report. In Manila and other cities in Asia, people are building office and apartment buildings. But building roads, railways, and other important infrastructure has been slower, partly because of the 1997 financial crisis. After that crisis, developing Asian countries reduced the amount they spend on infrastructure. In May, Philippines President Benigno Aquino III approved $1.4 billion in spending for commuter trains in Manila and other projects. That brought the total for infrastructure investment to $31.8 billion since 2010. In India, the biggest program is the $100 billion Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor project. It will create seven industrial cities, high-speed railways, six airports, and three seaports. The government says India also needs 450 new coal power plants. In Vietnam, the government approved plans for a new airport near Ho Chi Minh City. It will cost $15.8 billion. Vietnam also plans to spend $22.5 billion on new highways. The demand for power in that country increases by 10 percent every year. State media say Vietnam needs to spend $125 billion in the next 20 years to keep up with the demand. Thailand has a $92 billion building plan for the next few years. The plan includes high-speed train routes that will run from China in the north through Malaysia and Singapore to the south. It calls for expanding seaports and commuter trains in Bangkok. The Asian Development Bank has estimated that developing Asian economies need to invest $8 trillion by 2020. For VOA Learning English, I'm Jonathan Evans.